Hi everyone, Miss Nelson here, and today I have a mini lesson for you on weather instruments. Our objective for today is what instruments do scientists use to measure the weather? And hopefully by the end of class, you will know the name of each of the instruments below and how they work. The first instrument we're, we're going to talk about, you're probably familiar with. What instrument do we use to measure temperature? A thermometer. A thermometer works by, there's mercury at the bottom, and when it's hot, that mercury expands and rises. What instrument do we use to measure rainfall? The instrument is called a rain gauge. As you can see, it's basically a cup that sits outside and has those little markings on the side that allows us to measure precisely how much water is in the cup. What instrument do we use to measure pressure? The name of this instrument is a barometer. As you can see, it kind of looks like the dial that you have when you get your blood pressure taken. But whereas the instrument on the right measures blood pressure, the instrument on the left measures air pressure. A barometer can also look like a long column filled with mercury. The pressure will put, push down on that pool of mercury on the bottom, causing the column of mercury to rise. Barometer being one of the key vocabulary words that you need to know, one way that you can help remember is by looking at that word bar. It is the same as the unit that we use to measure pressure, millibars. Whenever you see the bar, that represents pressure. What instrument do we use to measure relative humidity and dew point? We've already talked about this in previous classes. Remember that instrument, the one with two thermometers, but one has a little sock on it? It can either look like the instrument on the left, or it can look on the like the instrument on the right. But both have two thermometers. One, without a sock, that's just a normal thermometer, measures the air temperature. That we call the dry bulb. The other one has a sock on it, and we dip that sock in water. That's why it's called the wet bulb. Then, we spin it around for 30 seconds. That's why we call it the sling psychrometer, because we sling it around. What instrument do we use to measure wind speed? We've also talked about this instrument before. In fact, you guys all made one in class. This instrument is an anemometer. If you're in a going to remember one name of any of the instruments we talked about, remember this one. It comes up on tests all the time. Lastly, what instrument do we use to measure wind direction? The instrument we use to measure wind direction is called a wind vane. As you can see, the arrow moves with the wind and in fact will always point in the direction that the wind is blowing to. So in the first picture, which way is the wind blowing? The wind is blowing from the east to the west, and we know that because the arrow is pointing towards the W for west. In the second picture, which way is the wind blowing? The wind is blowing from the south to the north because the arrow is pointing to the N for north. And believe it or not, that's the lesson for today. Super short. Your exit ticket is please send a picture of each of the weather variables and the instrument we use to measure them. So that can either be um, a picture of the table below filled out, or it can just be the, name, the instrument name with the weather variable that it, we use to measure it. Hope you guys learned something about weather instruments, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye!